Many women go into the doctor's office feeling intimidated, alone, and lost. Women's health care is just not talked about enough, and it has serious consequences. Yesterday, we introduced you to three women who experienced what they call medical injustices. The fibroids had grew. I want another child, but now I have to look into getting a hysterectomy because that was my thought was the only option because they didn't tell me about other options besides getting a hysterectomy. For me, it was about being discriminated against because of my weight. I was what I feel what wrongly sterilized. Imagine waking up from surgery and they say, oh, we had to do a hysterectomy. I'm totally freaked out. I had really, really heavy periods and it was super normalized in my family. And when I went to the doctor, they didn't give me any tests. They tried to prescribe me birth control right away. And then when I said I want a hysterectomy, they were like, well, your future husband is gonna be very mad that you're sterile and that could really cause divorce. And this is a female doctor. Now we want to talk about what came next for these women. A documentary called The Big Histo features Sacramentans talking about black uterine health and medical injustices. And Melissa, the creator of the documentary, decided to put out a casting call to highlight what she calls a silent pandemic. All these stories came in, these submissions, these partners that have left due to cheating endometriosis, adamiosis, hysterectomies, ectopic pregnancies. I just wanted to give people that platform and then to find out that everyday people are going through this and everybody's getting dressed to go to work and put on the smile. And the entire time they're like, dear God, somebody help me. I wanted to pick trans folks, non-binary folks, uh, folks of color because I wanted to be very intentional. Like this is a community of color issue and I wanted to shift the language from women's health to womb health. Being invited to screen this film at medical institutions, medical technology firms, engineering firms, medical device corporations has been beyond my wildest dreams. Based on, you know, the culture and the diversity of the practitioner and their healthcare provider, sometimes there can be some discrimination based on certain stigmas based on different populace of people. Sometimes the doctor speaks a different language than the patient and the patient may not know what to ask. And sometimes being guided through that, sometimes you need the approach based on education. And so the awareness helps keep the education flowing. But if you never ask the question, you'll never know. So second opinions are very encouraged. So respectfully, you can ask those questions. What are you really communicating to me? Help me understand, not just give me a diagnosis, but what does this mean short term, long term, so that I'm able to also have a decision in different approaches if I choose to. And stories are powerful because stories give people hope. And so by listening to the stories and assessing themselves, like that could have been me, or that is me, or let me get more information. How do I contact these people in the documentary? Maybe I need to have that conversation with my physician. This just doesn't affect this generation. It's the generations yet to come. Everything that we're experiencing, generations gone before us to make a difference. So therefore we need to do our part. What I shared in the documentary were things that I don't usually talk about. So being able to verbalize the story, to hear it out loud, it's empowering. I know that I'm not alone, but also I know that me sharing my story can help someone else. It just felt great to know that there's a circle of women that can, you know, wrap their arms around me as well. It's all about advocating for yourself. We are human and we deserve great care just like anybody else. We should be heard and listened to just like anybody else. And I want to say thank you again to all the women who sat down with me and trusted us to tell your story. You are brave and your voices are heard. And also for you at home, let this be a reminder to always check in with your doctor if you have concerns and know that it is okay to get a second opinion.